In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to open up our navigation browser so we can select image we want to display on our viewer, such as the example I've been showing here. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, from the intro, you can see that we're going to be opening up a navigation drawer. This tutorial is also um, okay for beginners to Android to follow. It's going to be quite straightforward. I'm only going to introduce one Android concept here with just a few lines of code. Okay, let's make a start. So we basically want to load an image so we can display it in our image viewer. So what we're going to use here is going to be a... Um, a system called Intense that are prov is provided by Android. Intense is a way of Android allowing us to send messages. So with an Intent, we can send Intents to Android OS, which is what we're going to do in this case, but you can send Intents to other applications. You can also send Intents internally around your application if you want to utilize different activities or services or um, um, receivers as such inside your application. So. They are very versatile, can be used all over the place. So we're going to create an intent here, an intent object. I'll just call it intent and let's create a new object. Okay, inside that intent, I'm going to request an action. So an action is basically details as the specific request of what we want to do here. And as you can see down here, I want to request action open document. So I'm going to tell Android OS, here's the action I want you to do on behalf of me is to open up document as such. Okay, now we need to be a little bit more specific than that. Some documents we won't be able to open, we won't have privileges or access or permissions to open the document. So we're going to select, we're going to filter down there and say only give me, show me documents that I can actually open and view in my viewer. So if we go back to intent again, and we've got a category for that, it's called category openable. Okay, I just want to be a little bit more specific on what type of files I want to view. Basically it's image viewer, so I only want to view images. So we can basically say the type of files we want to be returned in our navigation browser. So we can basically specify a string called image. We only want image. And start, we basically we're saying all types of images, JPEGs, PNGs, whatever, but I only want images to be returned to the browser so I can select only images Okay, so we've basically set up our tent, we've basically set specified in our request what kind of image we're looking for, it's an image, and it's an image we can open inside our browser, so we've set that. Now we've got to send the request to Android OS, and to do that in this particular case, I'm going to call start activity for result. We pass in our tent here, now the next thing is we need to send a code to Android, and that code is basically a number saying this is my request number. Because what happens is once Android's um, satisfied our request, it comes back to us inside another method with the request code. So we know which request Android's responded to on behalf of us. So let's add that. It's an integer, so let's add that up here, that value. I'll make it private. And it's an int. And I, let me call it... A, I'll say result, uh, let's call it request, because it's a request we're making to Android, request open result code, and I'll, just, I'll give it a value of zero, so all our request codes will have to be unique, you might be sending up a number of different types of requests, they will have to be unique, so let's add that down there. There it is there, so just add that. And that's it. Four lines of code for us to specify an action for Android. It's going to open up a navigation browser full of images. Well, that's what I expect it's going to open. 
Okay, let's try running that and see what happens. So turn on the phone. Okay, I'm just going to record the display so you can see what's happening. Okay, so you can see that we've got a browser. It's basically full of a load of images on my Nexus 5X device. And you can keep on scrolling. Looks like I've got a few images there. So Android itself has provided this document viewer or document loader for me. Of all the thumbnails there, and basically if I select one, it's going to return back to my application, such as that. So it's returned back to my application. Nothing's happened because part next following parts of this tutorial will show you how to process the results from our intent request. Okay, that's it to this tutorial. We we introduced you to Android intent, how they can be used to send messages around different parts of Android OS. In this case, we set up a particular action to open a document, so Android could respond to that by opening up its own navigation browser. We also specified only documents that are openable, so documents where, um, where if I didn't have permissions, I wouldn't they those documents wouldn't show up. We also specified we only wanted images to be shown up as well. And then we sent off that intent for Android to process. And once we selected the image we wanted, Android returned us back to our application. But nothing happened because next tutorial, we will be processing the information that Android sent us. So we will um, show you how to set up the method which responds to, uh, which uh, receives the response from Android as such. Anyway, that's it for this particular tutorial. If you want to get getting notifications of further episodes in this tutorial series, click on that subscribe button down below. And if you want to get track of all the things that are happening in mobile application tutorials, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, you can visit my Facebook account there, like me. And I've also do a lot of postings on Google Plus and um, Pinterest as well. And last but not least is my website. So my website contains the video as well. It contains information of how to get the code from GitHub. And it also contains broken down details of the code changes we've made as well. Anyway, that's it for this one. Bye for now.